It's been a hard week, it really has. It's been a hard week to look at America and uh, and you know the press and everything else and just go, what the hell is wrong? What is going on in America? Can I give you some good news? This is the country that when the Soviets challenged us in space, we doubled down and we landed on the moon within a decade. Nobody thought it could be done. Yesterday's moonshot is today's oil rush. And the great thing is, is Americans are rising to the challenge in the same way we did back in the 1960s. OPEC tried to kill us. This is really so underreported. OPEC uh, and the Russians and the Saudis, they ramped up oil production back in 2014 to drive the frackers out of business. Sorry. Fracking is really effective, but it is also really expensive. At first, the plan was working until 2016, and then something happened in 2016. Oil rigs began coming back online. Oil production shot back up. OPEC was baffled. How, how are the Americans doing this? What, what is happening here? Answer, American ingenuity. We had invented technological breakthroughs that made fracking cheaper and more efficient. So now here's, here's the results. Here's where we stand today. Remember, we're running out of oil and we're never going to, you know, it's peak oil and blah, 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 blah. As of last month, U.S. oil production hit a record high. We are now pumping out 10.7 million barrels a day. We just leapfrogged the Saudis who are putting out 10.4 million barrels a day. Russia is now number one at 11.1, but we're hot on their heels. U.S. production is set to be 12 million by next year. We will be the number one oil producer in the world by 2019. The days of being held hostage, the days of having to go to war for oil, they're over. And that's not even, that's mainly because of Texas. The state of Texas alone is projected to put out 5.6 million barrels a day in the next 12 months. That's more than Iraq and Iran. In fact, if Texas were its own country, which I think it kind of is, it would be the number one, uh, sorry, be the number three oil producer in the world. Texas. We haven't even touched Alaska, California. So when, when people question American exceptionalism, look what we're doing and we're not destroying the environment. We're not poisoning the fishes and the land. We figured out a better, easier way to do it. Politicians from our own country are, are rising with the socialist left. They're, they're claiming now that we'd be better off with a different system. Tell me, tell me what... What, if anything, has ever been accomplished uh, under socialism or communism? Did the Soviet Union go to the moon? What is it that Venezuela has invented? China is a pretty big socialist communist country. Why aren't they knocking on the door of the world's largest oil producer? Why didn't they invent the smartphone or create the Internet? Because there's something different about the Chinese. If there's any credibility to what these new American democratic socialists are saying, countries like China, Venezuela, Norway, even France, the UK should have accomplished way more than we have. But none of them have even come close. In fact, all those socialist countries are now sending us their sickest patients, even though our health care is a sick patient. It's all due to freedom. It's due to the free market. Square your shoulders, America. Take a bow. You're continuing to change the world and make it a better, safer, more efficient place. Even under hostile conditions. Just one innovation at a time.